Hey everybody, I'm Tom Ross. And I'm Michael Majors. You're watching Verse Series on StarCityGames.com. All right, we're back for more versus series action leading up to SG Open in Richmond. Um, I just played the Columbus Open. Maybe I won, maybe I didn't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but here we're playing some more standard decks, um, getting ready for another Open, uh, which is, of course, standard, 15 rounds of it. I'm playing a green-red energy deck. I've been kind of exploring a lot of aggro things, been on humans a lot, but uh, I want to try this, you know, combo-oriented, you know, pump spell plus creature mashup that Joel Set won the Players' Championship with, and I'm just trying to... Use the Ether Revolt cards that kind of upgraded a little bit. The High Spire Infusion and the uh, Invigorated Rampage. They seem pretty good. Seem a little bit better and larger in life. So let's see, a little minor upgrades. Let's see how that works. We got. Yeah, the pump spells look good. I'm sure that deck got a little bit better. Um, I'm kind of just playing like a boring black white control deck. Um, I think it might be a solid choice, kind of in response to the the combos that you undoubtedly saw in Columbus last weekend. Anguish and Manking transgress the mind seem well positioned right now, and you also just get to play some. Individually powerful cards like Gideon Alley for Zendikar, Liliana the Last Hope, Grasp of Darkness. Um, Hini's Expertise is really one of the only new cards in the main deck, but should be powerful in matchups like this or Red White Humans and lets you generate a lot of tempo in what is normally kind of a clunky deck. Yeah, I'm pretty scared of Hini's Expertise. It's been a while since we played like a, against a Languish type card. You have like a, cards like Selfless Spirit, we're kind of protecting against the, the five mana wrath effects like Fumigate. So I'm uh, interested to see how Yahini's expertise really catches them back up. Catch them up a lot too, because you know they can play their Liliana Lasso, maybe even kill a four toughness thing. Yep. So that's probably going to be uh, Michael's game plan here. Hopefully, I can get my creatures bigger than four toughness or three or whatever. Try to De get out of range there. <laughs> Definitely possible, but I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, fight. We do put a hand. Yep, my favorite. Mm. Ooh, got tripped. <gasps> Ooh, I got outkicked. What a yes! <laughs> I got him! My, what a sight. With my six. <laughs> That's fun. All right, here for game one, I'm on the play. And this hand is probably like a taste of what we need in this matchup. Could use like one more good anti-aggressive play, but I think since we won the die roll, we should be in good shape. I'm a little mana heavy, but I'd rather start uh, with enough mana and enough creatures and then try to draw the pump spells later. A flaw of this deck is drawing just too many pump spells and not enough threats. But yeah. Give it a shot. All right. Go. Ooh. My favorite. All right. Man. Give me two green, or my second green and two energy, that is. That deck just looks really good every time it plays a tune on turn one. All right, I'll transgress you. Kind of yeah. hoping for, like, a Bristling Hydra. I have a Pummeler. All right, I'll settle for that. So we got a Invigorating Rampage, a Brawler, and a Servant. Uh... This is probably one of the weaker matchups for Pummeler. It uh, matches up very poorly with Liliana, the last hope. Yeah. Even if I do pump it up, it will die on my on my turn since Liliana lasts two whole turns. Yes, aggressive it is. All right, I'm up. Done. Hmm. Got kind of punished here. Really should have played the other land. I don't actually know why I played the planes. That was really dumb. So. Would you have a tap land in a concealed courtyard or something? Yeah, I goofed. Like, real bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, laughably bad. Um, all right, I think I'm fine if Tom just wants to spend his whole turn killing my Liliana, so I'm just going to plus here. So I got a 1-1 one, one here. Yep. Go. I don't want to. I might. Ooh. All right. Maybe I will then. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. So I drew it. It's kind of easier way to kill it. All right, Blossom Essence is. Yeah. And then I have to pay my energy and attack it. So that was a pretty good turn for you. All right, kind of got bailed out. Pretty lucky. Go. Hmm, can't kill it. Will this be one of the instances where I wish I had a Harness Lightning? Guess I got to attack into it. And the bestest. Yeah, can't really block. Uh, you have six power coming at four, you. Four, and I know two of them. This is. Might know the other one. I think I know a land, right? Oh, probably. That might not be true. 
Oh yeah, you do. You do. Okay. Um, I mean, it's not like a bad trade for me or anything, but I think we can get more out of this Cletus, so I'm just not going to declare any blocks. Die. All right. Uh, take the six. Yep. Fourteen. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Guess I'm playing this cub here, and another tune. Sure. So you know my my hand pretty much at this point. I'm at six. Yep. All right. Let's go. So holding back doesn't really get me anywhere. Because Tom can just like safely send the brawler or long tusk cub. I mean, I, I could just force action, but Kalidus is a card I'm most worried about. Well, it's most reason to have harness lightning in my deck, which this version does not play. All right, I'm just gonna attack. So what happens here? What's going on? Blah blah blah. Come my thing. I don't think I need this much energy. Hold on a second. I block and then uh, pump it twice, and then he kills it. He doesn't gain life, and I might be able to attack him for some damage. Yeah, geez. All right. <laughs> All right. Pass priority. Uh, yep. Uh, that's one counter on one on the stack. Okay, that's it. Oh, yeah. you got a, a homie. Go. Mm -hmm. Alright, nobody can attack you for a lot. Oh, gonna be a little. <laughs> oh dear. I guess I could just send the brawler. So two things get plus two plus zero and trample or plus four plus zero trample, correct? Yeah, that's right. Hmm, it's unfortunate. Oh, I guess you could have some spells to come, I think, but I wouldn't be playing around anything at this point if I drew a pump spell. Right. All right, just send with this guy. Yeah, we're three. I'm at ten. Ten hit points. Well, that's not you know about. There you go. Let's see. And my deck looks pathetic. They keep a land heavy hand though. I believe the best card in the matchup is going to be Bristling Hydra. I could do like some weird sequencing thing. So if I just like send this first, go to 13. I'm assuming Tom doesn't block. And then I could just go ahead and cash this in to threaten a good block here. Eight. I don't want to just like randomly die in the swing back. Mm -mm. But I'm not actually sure I can just like play around Uncaged Fury. Or at least not in like a reasonable way. Because I do want to just like start progressing the game forward. That's probably the only card that actually just completely punishes me. Uh, is there any benefit to doing this first? Probably, actually, and just the extra point of life. Like, if Tom really wants to cash in his card to trade, that's probably fine. So I'm just going to play Gideon and make an emblem. Ooh, all right. And then I'm going to attack with my Cletus. 14, I'm at 16. Sure hope I draw an Uncaged Fury. <laughs> Go. And if we get through this turn, it should be basically impossible to lose. So I could have six... Plus that. Notably, if these cards were larger in life, so I'd be in much better shape. <laughs> that's true. I don't think that. I think it's more of a corner case. I don't know. Trampling over two power creatures with two toughness creatures. I feel like I want to blow at least one of these. I think it's more zombies. It's gaining more life next turn. Kind of gets worse. I guess if it has no removal spell, then I could still do stuff. All right, what's up? 
Uh, is the trigger resolving? Oh, yeah. It did. Okay. I'll just go ahead and block. I give him blows plus two plus zero and trample. Sure. All right. I just trample over for three, then this is... Five or four. Four, so seven. Yep. And I get another right. zombie. Got another fellow. All right. So I'm at seven. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. All right. Um, I haven't done much math. I think I'm okay if you... I draw exactly on cage here, and he has stone nothing. Mm -hmm. I think okay. I can just safely play around any two card combination. Oops, so I'm just gonna sack here and animate shambling vent. Attack for what is it? Eight, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it did not. Okay, so you're 16, I'm at 7. Yep. That. Go. This means even plus uh, 4 plus uncaged is not enough. Yeah, I'd, uh, I could only have him for 14 if I drew uncaged fury. All right, here for game 2. I think my hand is as bad as it can be without being a mulligan. Uh, these ether hubs being lands does help if I draw kind of any payoff card. So I'm willing to keep it on the play. Maybe I'm mulligan on the draw, I don't know. I took a mulligan to six, and my hand is a little sketchy. We definitely need more lands, but do have some spells that could actually win the game. So I'm going to scry and bottom this. All right, I'm done. Uh, go. Okay. Yep. Done. It's probably just going to kill me. Uh, I transgressed the mind. Huh. I just drew this electrostatic pummeler. Nice. Right Super lucky. Down. I'm probably still dead. Go. <laughs> well, it's kind of all in on Voltaic Rampager. Interesting. I guess I'll play it. Sure. All right, each for four damage. 16. Yep, go. Land. Go. Huh. Spend it on this. Each for six. Yep, done. Uh, one more. Go. Uh, go. Should I go for the kill? I guess I can split it up, so why not? All right. I right, split it up. <laughs> Dead. All right. <laughs> Ten ball. <laughs> Draw land. <laughs> All right, back here for sideboarding. Um, my side, basically just getting a little bit lower to the ground and including some more interaction. Um... I have dead weights in my deck over like Fatal Push. Um, it's really, really hard to turn on Revolt in this deck. Your Planeswalkers ba basically have to die or something weird has to happen. Um, that said, Fatal Push might actually be a little bit better in this matchup, but dead weight can take a little pressure off of you when you're like facing down some bigger threats. So I have that for right now. Um, boarding in a Fragmatize because it can like tag Pummeler, even though Tom's boarding that out. He's actually bringing in six artifacts, so it's not going to be dead. But I definitely don't want to draw more than one copy. And then basically just a Cletus and Omnixilis, which are some solid on-curve threats that can kill creatures or stabilize the battlefield. Cards I'm bringing out, uh, two succumb to temptation. I basically only want to ever draw exactly one copy of this card just because it fills up your hand and you lose life casting it, so it can get pretty awkward pretty fast. Kind of the same deal with Transgress. Um, it's cheap, which is nice, but definitely just want to draw exactly one copy and then basically just some, some curve considerations, cutting a Gideon and a Sorn. Yeah, basically uh, every deck loads up more on uh, removal and stuff, so I don't want to be too heavy on a combo plan. Uh, also, Electric Side of Pummeler, as I said, is very poor against Liliana, the last hope. And I'm trying to, I want to try this kind of mid-range transformational sideboard, mostly around Green Belt Rampager and Life uh, Crafter's Bestiary. Seems like a little bit of an engine. Uh, usually this slot is for Tyler's Tracker or something, but a lot of times this deck only plays like three lands in a game, and you can't really get... The value you need out of Childish Tracker in long games, it's just, it's just too slow. But this card does seem sweet. Scrying's good, and uh, I have a ton of creatures, so I'll, I'll probably be drawing cards a lot. Plus, with the Greenbelt Rampager, I can uh, <laughs> kind of go off. Just I, go off. I do need a mana uh, dump, I guess. Um, that's where Ether Sphere Harster comes in. Also, uh, Long Tusk Cub does that, too. So I can either use it as like an early 3-4, and um, a 3-4 seems decent against uh, Michael's deck, too. But yeah, I'm keeping in some pump spell, just the Rush of Adrenalines and the um, Invigorated Rampages. Those are the best. And uh, kind of just want to trample through a little bit. 
nothing too big, just enough to get over like two two tokens and stuff. And yeah, that's basically it. Trying this out for the first time. Hope it works. Worked good in theory in my head. So, <laughs> all right, back here for game three. I'm on the play, and my hand is quite good. So I'm happy to keep. Yeah, I got some creatures. Got a new card. Go. I wonder what I'm playing on turn. Go two. We're gonna be this fella. Go. Uh. Okay. Let's play this guy. Yep. Go. I'm trying to play the guy that I least mind dying to a grasp or getting Liliana or whatever. Yep. We're just gonna go ahead and run out Liliana on plus here. Snow too. Go. Oh man. Oh. Hmm. How much time do I have to goof off? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just your beach chair. Yeah. So I could goof off pretty hard. <laughs> or I could try to figure out some way to hurt this Liliana. If I had another play, maybe? I wish I had another play this turn. I hope it's not spewy. To just play stuff. Eh, it might be spewy, whatever. So I lose energy, then I gain three. So I got three energy. All right. Yep. No, oh, that's pretty good for me. All right, I'm gonna play need need expertise. On. All right, did. And I will decline to play anything else. And I'll just stick up here. Go. Can't pressure it too good. Whatever this. <laughs> Go. Yep. That's not bad. can't tick up on. Lead on, transgress. Uh, got my beast, Jerry. Yep, brawler rush, cub. And I'll just go ahead and fragmentize this. Tick up. Hmm. Go. Hmm. Okay, gotta hit it for some amount of damage next turn. For sure. Okay. Yep, go. Alright, uh, tick up on Cub. Go. It's a new one. Oh, can't do anything about it. Attack that Liliana. Yep. What do I want to spend? One energy on it? Seems safe. Alright, spend one time. So it's a one, two, and then I will pass. All right, I'm gonna murder it. Rats. Can I kill him? I don't know. <laughs> Go. <laughs> That's not bad. All right, I'll dead weight this, and I'll make a Liliana emblem. All right, I give up. And move to mine. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I'm putting a tough squeeze. Liliana makes me overextend into Yahini. It's kind of like a little combo. Yeah. All right, here for game four with a, a barely keepable hand. I'm on the play, and uh, I'm going to have to do a lot of setting up and a lot of slowness, but I think I can manage. All right, well, I'm happy to hear that. This is certainly the kind of hand that can lose on the draw, but I think it has enough pieces that we want. All right, All right that's probably not very good. Go. Sounds like an... All right, I got two energy. Then I'm going to cast another tune. Okay. Boop. Boop. I don't know what I'm getting. I guess I'm getting a red mana. Although, yeah, I'm getting red. Well, made a little bit more keepable than I'm guaranteed my third land on turn three. Since I kind of tune into a tune on turn two. So I'd really like to just be able to play one of these, but I think based on the fact that Tom hasn't played anything until presumably turn three, we might just need to take his play. So I'm going to play Transgress. Alright, what did it exactly want? Two things, Brawler Servant. Okay, go. I do want to see this bestiary thing in action. But what can you do? I'm not kind of being fun police today. Alright. Yep. Best attacker, go. 
Um, I think just based on the way our hand's going to line up, I'm just going to fire this off, even though it's likely to miss. I drew another Vault Egg Brawler. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna play one more creature. Yep. Move seven. I'll attack you. Yep. I'm gonna bust one of these. Okay. <laughs> so I'm at twelve. And I'll play this guy. Yep. There you go. All right. Um. A lethal no. Well, that was good for sure. All right, I'll play expertise and then take up Lily. All right. Go. Cool. At least I kept one creature. I got eight or ten energy. Yep. So you can make that thing a seven seven? Uh-huh. It's kinda kinda out of control. Well. Alright, I'm gonna play expertise. A full four right click. And I'm gonna play succumb to temptation off the expertise, so I'll go to ten. Alright. Can I kill you? <laughs> I don't know. Let's look up here. All right, so I have to do at least one more right now. Go. So at this very second, it's a 3 4. Oh. <clears throat> Pretty scary. And I can hit you for. What are you at? 10? I'm at 10. 3 4 5. I hit you for. Oh, yeah, okay. We did it. All right. You have it? All right, bust all the counters. It's got 5 on it. Yep, so it's a 6 power creature. Plus four plus no or no it's a uh, five five power creature. But now it's a nine power creature. Nine, now it's a nine power creature. One energy. <laughs> wait wait. One uh, energy. It, wait. <laughs> do, I, do I understand how this works correctly? And it's about to pay too if you can. Okay, that's pretty awesome. All right. All right. So this is in my hand. Yep. Use for the last one. Yep. I get you for ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good beat. <laughs> All right, back here for game five. Uh, hand's pretty average, but I'm on the play, so I think it might be good enough. Yeah, I'm looking to six. So it's decent enough. I do have this card. If it comes in play, it's going to be all right. I'm going to bottom it because I have an attune. Go. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll get your mountain on bottom. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Transgress you. All right, I got a bristling hydra and some some junk. All right, I'm probably gonna take that bristling hydra. Card is very hard for me to beat. Move around a little bit. So hydra gone. This was tapped briefly. Got a cub that got a scared cub here. <laughs> All right, he's done. Yep. Look, I'm drawing a lot of this card. Mm, go. All right, I will offer my Liliana to you. Tom's plus four plus two. Oh, yeah. I accept, I think. Rulers Mountain. Whoop it, yeah. Mm, yeah. Cletus, go. Great. Hooray. Now what? Uh, mm -hmm. Where'd you go? Here, Jacob. <laughs> I'll just beat Boston's cup anyway, so we'll try it. Does he know about the card? I don't know. Maybe he does. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. it's a 3-3. Three, three, it becomes a 5-4, so it survives Kalidus. Yep. And you gain 3 and take 1 trample, so you're gaining 2 life to go into 22. Yep. All right. Done. And you gain 2 energy. I did. You right. <laughs> All right. Take two. Go. Oh, it beats. <laughs> All right, no blocks. Yeah, whatever. So I take six down to 16. Get your two energy back. True. Go. Uh, okay, I can probably just... 
start here. Succumb to temptation. Oh my. Go to 14. Those were not bad. I'm gonna dead weight your servant. Get a zombie. I pump my club a long time ago. And attack for three. Yeah, we'll see. 17, 17 all. all. Go. Yeah, probably should pump my club. Yeah, attack you. Mm, this is an interesting spot. No bucks. All right, no effects. All right. 13. 13. Oh, yeah. Go. Hit you. I'm hit. Where we at? 16 to 14. 16 14. Okay. Go. All right, all right. So you can block this time if you're inclined to. He makes a that that. How good is that? If I have a six six here. So I'm playing with uh, the grasp of darkness in mind, which is why I was hemming and hawing about not <clears throat> using my energy earlier. But now he's it's kind of out of range. I could trample over for some. Or could not attack. I think I need to attack. I need to get another one more energy and just kind of draw something sweet, I think. So whatever this thing. What's up? Alright, I'll block and sacrifice to Cletus. Okay, it's gone. Okay, now what? I'm gonna spend my energy one at a time to pump my thing. Uh yep. There it goes five. Now I'll get plus four, plus four. Or plus four, plus zero. So I'm trying to hit you for 11. Uh, Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. You're five. Go. Yep. I'll grasp your brawler. Good. Oh, I gained two energy. Yep. Um, Not easy to race. So I can gain Oh no. Let's see. Seven this turn, go to twelve. And then what is like the worst case scenario? So this is eight total. Yep. Yeah. Not have to draw a so, spell. So you need like plus four plus right. plus something else. Or I can let's see, if I leave back shambling vent. So if I sacrifice token to Kalidus, I can go up to 12, 12 and then that soaks up five. this soaks up 5, so it puts me at virtual 17, so this will be 7, 8, 12. That should cover me. So I'm going to sack and attack. 7, 12. Go. Hmm. One card. Yep. Yep. It's a seven eight over there and I have an eight eight kind of. <laughs> um Dead everything, but not well. <laughs> Them's a beat. Yeah, I'm just gonna animate and it was a seven eight, so yeah, that, yeah. that it's seven eight tech. So. Hmm, sucks. I could block just this. Uh, okay. What happens? You cannot grasp and... Oh, if you grasp this, I'll, I would die. Yeah. Okay. If you grasp this, I nearly assuredly die. What if I block just this and try to gain life? Okay, how much is that? You could gain seven, go to nineteen, twenty-one. I guess there's no possible way to be a grass, so I guess we're just gonna have the game end. Alright, block. Okay. Bump it. Alright. 
is dead. So I gain nine. Twenty-one. You take two. Get a five. And I get a zombie. Yep. Go. Oh no. So what if I block like that? Would I have been all right? Who knows? What You're blocking you defense. Oh, uh, so if you just like jumped here. Yep. Uh, well, you're still f first to act, right? Hmm, what do you mean? You're still forced to act first because you need to defense the cub, and then I just respond to grasp. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I spend energy, make it bigger, then you'd grasp, and I defense. Um, just as we die last turn, then I'd be left with big cub. Well, yeah, yeah, because that would well, this. well, this this zombie would make this a nine, so then you'd still be forced to act. Oh yeah. I'd have 10. You yeah. have a 10, 11. Or 9. Oh, you have a 9, 10, I have a 9, 9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. you got me. All right, back here for the conclusion of black-white control versus red-green energy. Um, pretty straightforward. Drew some removal spells, killed Tom's stuff. Uh, Kalidas kind of ran wild two games. Uh, we, we talked a, bit, a little bit off-camera, but maybe Harness Lightning should be a part of this list. Maybe just the cyborg, but... Um, just, you know, keep me honest, not be able to just have Kalidus win the game on the spot or whatever. Yeah, I don't know if you need to combo too hard anymore. You did too before after the, the like, outrace the Marvel decks and stuff, and the Emrakul decks and whatnot. Um, try to get a guy through before you get Reflector Mage tempoed out and all this stuff. But now Harness Lightning's probably uh, good enough. Uh, I know Joe Lissai didn't run any in his Players' Championship winning deck. And uh, I'm inclined to believe that Shock's better, but maybe not. I just can't beat some cards um, like Kalidus. You just kind of want to grind them out. And I do get a lot of tools to grind people out a little bit in Aether Revolt. Kind of like the the green belt rampager, the life crafter beefy thing. So you don't have to like go crazy. I think it can be like a red green energy mid-range deck with like a little bit of explosive elements. Maybe just like invigorated rampage. Just kind of like how I won the games. I never really comboed Michael out. I just kind of used my pump spells to get through enough damage. Yeah, the plus four plus two trample card seems sweet and he didn't really like go off with Beast Jerry, but he did randomly <laughs> kill me with the elephant in game four. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Um, just a, a backdoor way to gain some energy. But um, yeah, pretty straightforward stuff. I, I kind of agree. Probably less Ishkanaz. Format's a little bit slower in general, other than like Sahili combo. So you probably have a little bit more room to not combo people. And Harness Lightning helps against uh, Felidar Guardian Sahili. So that makes sense. But um, yeah, this black white deck is basically just the rock. Just, <laughs> just kind of average at. Doing a little bit of everything. Some good interaction. Um, Cletus is powerful. Gideon's powerful. Whatever. Yep. But this weekend, Richmond, SG Open. Uh, we got Matthias on and Ryan over turf doing commentary. 15 rounds plus another three. Hopefully I'm in it. I got to use my <laughs> three buys for the first time. See how that works out. Probably playing some aggro deck. So I have a, a lot of free time. Hopefully don't play but a couple hours of actual magic <laughs> the, <laughs> the entirety of the two two days. <laughs> So I have a lot of time to relax, and that'd be be cool. Good first event for me. Yeah, awesome. Um, looking forward to seeing how the first couple of standard events shape up. So should be a lot of fun. Uh, this format is very, very different now after the banning, so that's pretty awesome. I'm sorry, Columbus is the first event, which just passed, but yeah. we're doing that before then. We're doing this video before that happens, but so maybe I didn't win it. Maybe I didn't win a match. Maybe I won them all. <laughs> Who knows? Could be anything. <laughs> Could be anything. <laughs> but thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, see you later.